Okay, class. Finally, yeah, we go to the last chapter of our textbook, Maths Form Five. Yeah, it is the mathematical modeling. Okay, this is a very new topic. We never learned this uh, in the KBSM uh, for KSSM. It's uh, very new. So we learn mathematical modeling. So why do you study this chapter? As you know, mathematical modeling uh, or maths is used in various disciplines in the real world. Yeah, Mathematics is everywhere in the world. Yeah, the best subject that uh, teach us how the world works. Most of the things that happens in the world, we need mathematics. Yeah, okay. So it's good that we learn this topic. And even the COVID nineteen pandemic, yeah? we use uh, mathematical modeling. E to make epidemic uh, prediction okay for more information you can check on this uh, barcode yeah okay uh, this is a few words that we'll learn during the chapter and most of it you are familiar with Okay, this is a tunnel, yeah. This is a tunnel. If you ever been to in Sabah, we don't have. But if you ever been to KL, uh, there is uh, one tunnel. They use tunnel, uh, underground road, um, for transport. But actually, it is the storm water management and road tunnel. Yeah, it is used for the road, but actually, it's used for road management tunnel called smart. Yeah? So the tunnel aims to drain water flood, flood water during heavy rain. However, yeah, the tunnel has an additional function in re reducing traffic congestion. It can use for uh, road, yeah, extra uh, alternative road, and it's underground. Wow, that's amazing for us, huh? <laughs> But it's uh, most countries, uh, they have this uh, tunnel, road tunnel, and also used for storm water management. So, do you know that mathematical modeling was used to demonstrate four different operation modes in the smart uh, tunnel? So, you can check on this, uh, the four different operation, if you want, for further information. Uh, how the smart uh, works uh, when when it have it when it rains heavily if it doesn't rain there are four different you know, operation okay what is most important today is we'll learn at point one mathematical modeling so what is it what is a mathematical modeling so as we know, the world around us is filled with various important questions that are not answered. I'm sure you have uh, uh, questions, unanswered questions since you were a child. Okay, now let's have a look. Some of the questions when you grow up, maybe you ask, yeah, what is the effect of sea level? on coastal region on Malaysia of Malaysia yeah so in our in Kenya we don't have any we don't have seas yeah we don't have uh, sea but in KK yes and what happened to the if effect of the when the water level rises what happened uh, will they get flooded what's the effect Okay, next. How much will it cost to go to college in university in 10 years time? Uh, for you, in less than one year time, you'll go to college or university. But in 10 years time, what's the cost? We'll, of course, it will go up. But how much? Uh, what to consider? 
what assumption we we will make before we can predict okay and of course we use mathematical modeling for this one will the population in malaysia surpass 40 million now we have we are 33 million will it surpass 40 million okay most probably yes <laughs> is it possible to identify the personal trait of cyber crime victims by studying the behavior of web servers yeah hmm. most of our students especially become the cyber crime victims so is it possible we identify the personal trait of this victim by studying the behavior of them yeah when they search when they surf the web okay so answers to these questions are constantly being studied by researchers do you know that uh, they study <clears throat> will they be able to find the answers maybe and some most of them will be able to find the only thing one can say with certainty is that any attempt to find the solution requires the use of mathematics yes most likely through the creation application and refinement of mathematical models <clears throat> so a mathematical model is a mathematical relation that describe the real world situation for example you know this i i equal p r t yeah ah, for i is the simple interest and the other three quantities are the principal yeah your money the interest rate in percentage and the time in uh, years yeah okay so these are the variables huh? these are the variables and it is said that yeah like the quantities we call it also variable it changes yeah it changes the quantities changes that's why we call it variable so this is one example lah, yeah of a mathematical model and the relationship so we use this yeah to solve many problems yeah, who discovered this formula is very brilliant <laughs> okay so you will introduce in this chapter will introduce you in the process uh, the process is very important we teach you the process of constructing a mathematical model which is called mathematical modeling okay so in the real world problem will translate into a mathematical problem uh, and then we can solve the problem and interpret its solution in the term of the real world problem. So in short, the mathematical model is a representation of a system or scenario that is used to gain qualitative and quantitative understanding in the same of some real world problems and to predict future behavior okay what is this qualitative and what is quantitative okay this of course quantitative it is um, numbers are used yeah we use numbers uh, that we can measure we can measure like the length yeah uh, the time mass temperature all that the quantity that we can mm, the variable that we can measure yeah we can measure and the data is represented in numbers in numbers it is called quantitative okay for the quantitative qualitative this is the quantity that cannot be 
cannot be measured. Yeah. What are the quantities that cannot be measured? You cannot uh, give numbers to it. Like, yeah, the color of, yeah, the color of our hair, the color, the colors of, um, let's say the artist. Yeah, what else? The shape, yeah, any shape, shape of candies and uh, texture, anything to do with our senses, yeah, anything to do with our senses and when we do a descriptive judgment, we use words, yeah. We use words instead of of numbers. Yeah. So this you will learn a lot more when you go to college, to the university, and also now you are learning it in other subjects. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's consider uh, the following problem. So number one, the population of town A is 40,000. 45% of the residents in the town practice habit of recycling. Yeah, it's good. Use plastic drinking bottles that is recycled. If each person is in the town uses five plastic drinking bottles per week, how many bottles are recycled each week in the town? So this type of question is always uh, of, often asked in the maths uh, books yeah, to reinforce the concept of what percentage. So this is a problem solving and you can easily get the answers. Huh? You can get the answer and you use the mathematical concept or yeah, any formula and you can get it. But let's uh, have a look with the following question. Question two, how long does it take to clean up oil spill? Yeah, in the ocean, how long? Huh. How big is the ocean? We don't know. Huh? You want to measure the ocean? We need some figures, right? This question is very different. We do not have enough information eh, to answer this question. It's an open-ended question. Very broad uh, answers. Uh, we very broad area to to find out. We usually do not have complete information when we solve real-world problems. So it demands us to use both mathematical knowledge and creativity to solve them. So in this case, we can use this, yes, mathematical modeling is perfect for solving such open-ended question. So let's go, let's see how, how is it, what is the mathematical model? There are a few components. Remember, if you can see here, you have six, yeah, you have six, six components. I first, what you should do when you have this problem, you identify and defining the problem. You must know what is the problem all about. Second one, make assumption first and identify the variables. What are the variables that we can use? Okay. Assumption also very important. Uh, number three, applying mathematics to solve problem. Okay, apply maths to solve the problem and verifying and interpreting solutions in context of the problem. Next, you refine the mathematical model. Okay, and after that, you report the findings. Huh? You have uh, six here. If you make an acronym, 
acronym you have I M A V and it's this one if you want to remember acronym I M I M A V R R so what can you say about this maybe I am a very re re what robot maybe <laughs> re robot yeah to remember it lah yeah i is identifying m this one you just don't just take m lah m is for making assumption uh, a is applying very verifying uh, re is refining and r is report so this is something very interesting okay let's have a look the process you can simplify it by this one yeah you identify and then you make assumption and identify the variables and then you apply mathematics to the solve the problems you verify and interpret solutions and after that you refine and you can uh, repeat yeah you can repeat as needed before you report okay and this one when you report okay so that's a uh, view of uh, a short view uh, about mathematical modeling